Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC, and today we have the Typhon on 2S and 3S. We're gonna speed test it with a 19 tooth pinion and uh, see how it does for you guys. So let's let it rip. Still 2S doesn't feel that fast to me. 19 tooth, much better gear mesh this time though. Much better gear mesh. Don't have that whine noise. Got a nice long run. And we'll bring it back after that. That's gotta have hit top speed. A little bit off on our trim again. 21 miles per hour. That is not much faster than we had with our other teeth. That's weird. That's real weird. That's like what we were getting with the nickel metal hydride on 14. So we need to set this a little better. Get our steering. That's better. All right, let's put a 3S in, see what we get on 3S, guys. It's not gonna sit here going too long. So this particular motor will get you 21 on 2S. I did get one of the little um, bearings that you put on the drive shaft, but it has like a, a center screw that goes down and it doesn't sit right in here. Um, so I have to look into that. It doesn't really seem to work with it, so. All right, let's power down, take out our 50C 2S and try a 3S. Okay. All right, we've got our 3S set in here. Let's go ahead and clear everything and get it ready to go. This, uh, this ESC combo isn't really rated for this vehicle. Like I said before, we're just trying to give it a go and uh, see how it does and if it's usable trying to find something that's a little bit affordable. You go too big and you might as well just buy the uh, 3S model. And so I was trying to find something around hundred dollars that could at least get you along with a little bit more speed for bashing with. And uh, yeah, not have to break the bank. So um, that's why we chose this one. And we're just kind of testing it to see if it can hold up to the 3S in a four wheel drive, eighth scale buggy. We've got it on 3S now. Should come alive a little bit more. We did 15 tooth already. Now 19 tooth. And it feels better already. The 2S is just kind of underpowered feeling. Yeah, that's ripping. Whew. Now we're talking, this has got some good speed. Gotta be careful, I don't know if somebody's gonna pull out this way or not. Oh, we might have torched the, we torched it. Ah, uh, there went the spur gear. Oh, it's gone. I even set the mesh better this time. It's a goner. I need to get a metal spur gear on here and preferably go 32 pitch instead of 48 pitch. Oh, man. But 37 miles per hour, we're okay with that. Oh yeah, she's a goner. <laughs> wow. So uh, we'll get that replaced. Maybe we'll try it one more time, try and get the gear mesh set a little better. It felt really good, so, and it was sounding good. But I can feel it rubbing even against this, what's left, so. Looks like there's a little bit of play here. So maybe under power it's moving a little and pushing against it. I don't know, I can't tell. Definitely seems like some movement though. Hmm. All right, well, we'll investigate guys. Thanks for tuning in as always. We'll catch you in the next video.